Hey you guys, it's the Ross Guru 88 and I'm here for another collective reading. Um, if you guys would please like, share, and subscribe if you would like to book a personal. Um, if I don't leave it in the description box below, just comment and I will um, send you the information that's needed. Um, just going straight in because I started this reading a little bit right after like 444. Um, I know that your spirit guide are guiding you at this time and you'll be protected from everything that is not seen. Um, I will say this because I had to stop, okay? Um, I was getting distracted. So, it could be some friends around you that, um, could be trying to distract you at this time. Um, and I seen four, five, six as I started again. So, that means just keep going. Um, the path that you're on is causing you to worry, um, Probably that pride getting away when it comes to your happiness. Or this could be just these people wanting you to feel this type of energy, this negative ass energy, okay? And then they say, yes, they work big, okay, to keep you in poverty. So if you're going through any hardship, sometimes these fake sisters or fake bros are scared as hell, you know, that all this shit is going back. So whatever you manifest and you're doing reversals, return to cinders, is definitely backfiring. So spirit, holy angels of the highest polite angels that you come down and challenge me as I be a discernment of collective, I mean, a discernment for my collective of people that is watching. I ask that you return any negative energy sent towards me, my platform, or them back to its rightful owner. Um, a hundredfold, yes. Show us what we need to see in the energy of my collective spirit. Show me what we need to see. Oh, okay. I'm going to take all of these. Because it dropped out at 144. So you got blame, balance, service, relationships, doubt, and trust. Okay. I feel like this. Whatever type of relationship you hold with people, just in general, whether it's the friends, but we're talking about friends at the seafood right now, or whether it's the friends, the relationship, the family situations that you have with people, you cannot blame yourself for their mishaps, for them not coming through and whatever the case may be in your life. You know, you just can't worry about that. Two, two, two. It's about you, your stability, and what matters to you and what makes you happy. Because at the end of the day, your happiness matters first. You cannot blame other people for just the things that's going on in your life. You got to take accountability for it. If things is unbalanced, if the scales are not balanced nine times out of ten, either you need to remove yourself. Now, and, now I'm, I'm just going to say nine times out of ten. Yeah, you do need to remove yourself because a lot of times when you deal with these type of people, they're not going to leave you. Um, you say, I feel good when I can help others. So I feel like, you know, it makes you feel good when you can help other people. But if it's, like I said, if it's not balanced and you're not getting that energy back that you're giving out, and you're wondering why things are going horrible for you, then this is why. You they say doubt, I release the need to know how to answer. You don't have to know everything. You just have to trust in your intuition and what God is telling you with the trust card. It say I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. So it's like no matter what people say or um how they feel, whatever, you've always watched your actions, okay? And like I said, I do feel strongly that this is like friendships, the relationships that you have with these friends, okay? These fake sisters, these fake bros, they say yes, they pay to keep, or yes, they work with or pay to keep you in poverty because they know you're mismaking happen and you can do it alone. And, and they view you as competition and there's no competition. You know, you're one of God's finest and everything that God has for you is yours. Can't nobody steal that from you. So with the worry card and four on the head, um, when it comes to your stability, your love life, even your relationship, because this worry card fell on top of relationships and relationships, um, is purple, this purple right here. It's like, get all out of your head. Quit worrying about things that you know you cannot control. Um, I'm, worry says, I'm learning that worry doesn't change your outcome and relationships. I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So once again, if the scales are unbalanced and, the, and these people will make you feel low, then these are people that you have to remove yourself from because the balance card says, I bring the state of perfect harmony in into my world and I do so without judgment. So it's like, you know, you gotta let it go. If people don't serve you a good purpose, let them go. You know what I'm saying? Divine protection is for a reason. 444 is on the clock. <clears throat> on the clock. Divine protection is for a reason. Um, a lot of times you have to remove yourself from people because they're not ready to go or where you're going. 
And it's like, don't worry about that. You know, look, you need to surrender your need to control the situation. Don't worry about that. I can release my need to control. This on top of doubt. Now say I release the need to know all the answers. I can release my need to control. You don't need to know everything. You don't have to control everything. Just accept the shit for what it is and keep moving forward. I'm learning to accept the things I cannot change. You know, so if you cannot change it and if it's not willing to change itself, it must be removed. Do not let pride and ego get in the way of things that you have to end because they are meant to end for a reason. And if the, and if you don't end it and things start going wrong, it's like you cannot blame nobody but yourself for things being out of whack in your life. With the death court, it says, I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. So... You got to let it go. It's too much purple out of here. You and your head about it, but you got to let it go, babe. And be patient. I accept that everything happened in divine order and adversity. You know, so it's like patience is what you're lacking at this moment because you're down everything. You want to control the outcome of everything. And then when it don't go your way, you want to blame things on other people. For the challenges, I feel like that you are creating, you know what I'm saying? Just by thinking the way you are, you know what I'm saying? And not accepting things for what it is. Anything else? But once again, though, know, your happiness mountain first. You got to let people go. Forgiveness. And this comes with pride. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. So this is what keeping you in this uh, situation. Your pride. You forgiving a person, taking them back over and over again. Oh, they're not going to do this, they're not going to do that. That's what they're saying. And then it's like, okay, you sitting in your head like, okay, they're not going to do this, they're not going to do that. And I want to know if they're doing this and I want to know if they're doing that. And God is saying, chill. Chill. Like, it does not matter what they're doing. Your happiness matters first. And I'm going to go with this dick. So we need to see. Ooh. Okay, you got headhunter out right here. Touch not my anointing, do my prophets no harm. Being sneaky behind your back, watch them. That's where these challenges coming in at. You got Mufasa out right here, okay? And you got everything that you prayed for. Backfire instantly. Miss I'll take your man. Peeping tongues. <sighs> what else? Here? You are the God that you seek. Go towards the new person. Ex obsessed ex lover is stalking. Okay, that comes with them peeping tongues. And you got player got played. What else? Group destroyed. That goes with this backfire. Anything else here? Okay. It says being sneaky behind your back, wash them, and stay above water flew out. So y'all seen that. So Miss Take Your Man wants your person to be sneaky behind your back. But God is saying stay above water because you are a demon or a devil slayer. <laughs> it's like touching my mind. I'm not to do my proper no harm. Whatever the fuck they try to do, it backfire instantly. I do feel like, like I said, this is a person from your past. Well, it's a past relationship, past friends. They are very envious. Like I said, I started this reading right at 444, but um, I got distracted. So once I come back out here, it was uh 456. So that lets me know that you're being protected. Uh, whatever the fuck they are doing, tried to do, wanted to do, did already, it backfired instantly. It, I do feel like it was a group of people. One to three people, maybe three to five. Um, but you are the guy that you see. This new person, this is like the new fossil in your life. This is like the Aladdin to your story, okay? This is this person is everything you pray for. But I said this on my live um, on Facebook um, this past week, and I was um, saying that when you go towards the new person or anybody new, you know what I'm saying, it's going to be challenges. It's going to be kind of hard in the beginning. You know, even though it be good you know it kind of be hard in the beginning to take off because it's like god is still testing you to see if you're tempted by the past and this is what's going on the past is trying to get you to come back you know what i'm saying and they want this person even if they're not coming back they want this person to be sneaky behind your back um 
guys not having it. But like I said, when you're going to somebody, it's going to be those type of challenges, those type of tests that come in to see if you're ready for what God is trying to give you. Um, this person is going to be everything you pray for, and I'm hearing stay down until you come up. So even if you're in a situation that I don't feel like where you're just down, down, but I do feel like it's kind of hard because this, this, this is really challenging you with the adversity right here. This is really challenging your relationship um, to see if you're going to do the right thing, you know, 10, 10 on the clock, you know, to see if you're going to do the right thing. But I do feel like that you're doing the right thing. I just feel like people from the past is trying to manipulate you. I see manipulate you. Um, yeah, and then they say they're trying to distract you. And that's what it is. It's like they're trying to distract you. The player got player. Look, it said they're broken and mad. You're broken and mad. And they watching. They watching the fuck out of you. You know what I'm saying? The sound of a train could be significant. You know, so God wants you to make the best out of every situation. He say family can be karmic and toxic as well. And I seen 1044, so there's 144. Somebody want to kill themselves. Ooh. Yeah, let's take your man. want to kill yourself. Uh, I'll steal your girl. Okay. But a breakthrough is about to happen for you. So if the running y'all need to control, it's like and be patient because the patience that you that you think that you have to wait months and years for could might probably happen tomorrow, the moment you forgive yourself and let things go. I see 11 11 as I say that because at the end of the day, your happiness matters first. So you could be dealing with a twin. And yes, a great change has come to surface. So yeah, while you sitting here in your head, God has said first forgive yourself first for the things that you allow from past people. Um, knowing that they can't have access to you no more is one of your best flexes. You know what I'm saying? Because you want to guys find it. If these people want to stay in low vibration and energy and keep doing shit that's going to get reversed back to them and backfire on them instantly, then that's on them. You know what I'm saying? Let, let these people be. They scared as hell. You know what I'm saying? They want to come back in your energy. But the thing of it is, no matter what they're doing, it's not going to skip their fucking karma. <sighs> Yeah, so this great change, I feel like it's good. It's it's a good change. Look, and God says just believe, must receive faith. You know, yeah, it's definitely some sneaky behavior. I feel like even if you don't know what they're doing, you know what I'm saying, they definitely sneaking and doing some shit, okay? 12, 12. And they say you're going to repeat until you learn with this karmic female. So, yeah, this is definitely a karmic female. Like I said, Miss, I take your man out here. Baby, don't nobody want nobody else. Man, when you divine, you know what I'm saying? You want your own thing. So this could be a message of confirmation for you. Yes, it's definitely somebody that's trying to do spell work to take your person from you. Because they don't like the fact that this person is everything that you prayed for. And you could be everything that this person prayed for. And you like the cerebral to his Mufasa. You know what I'm saying? And the past is just mad on both ends. I feel like this is a... Uh, it's of your person because it's karma female so if you're divine feminine watching this is this is definitely your person's ex and if you are a divine masculine watching this this is definitely the, your person's ex okay but whatever the fuck they was doing with the spell work all this shit instantly backfired you got backfired instantly instantly backfired oh and then something hit the floor yeah so just believe. As long as you believe that these things are gone and backfired, and then it just guess what? It is. Never stop praying. Never stop praying. Oh, uh, I see that somebody could be doing this because they're sexually frustrated. And yeah, so they probably want to put sex magic on this person or whatever. Or they probably already have tried to. 1331. It said, what more confirmation do you need? This person is sick as fuck. Yeah, because they're manipulated. Like I said, this probably could be why you're all in your head. This is not your energy. Okay, Spirit is saying listen to some music to get back in your energy. Because this, this is some energy that you already moved on from. And so you moved on from this mess. And these people really don't want no smoke. They don't want no smoke. And your past over love money here. Your, your spirit guys that are guiding you, they like they don't want no smoke. I'm already on this. So like I said, this could be a karmic male. It's where you got karma female out here already. It said the player got played. That was a false connection that they are in. So it says stop pushing the new person away. You know what I'm saying? These past people praying you have an accident, so be careful. You know what I'm saying? They mad because they caught up or you can caught on to the person that they really are. And this new person is very overprotective of you. Okay? So it says take time out for you no matter what. It relieves a lot of unwanted stress. And it comes with the overthinking and worrying and down yourself. And God says never stop praying. Okay? 
with this running like water i feel like a motherfucker just running their mouth about some shit they don't know 1444 but you will be vindicated on that energy as well i do see wedding bells so let them go because you deserve more and they say do only what you feel is right yeah somebody want to come in and marry you and, 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 and give you pure happiness, 15 on the head, change your goddamn life for the better. And people be letting past people come in and, and fuck up what they got going on all because they don't want to mature. And then they conjuring demons only to attack themselves and shit. This is why they can be giving off this foul ass smell, stinking asses, you know what I'm saying? And this is what's going on. Your wishes are coming true. And your intuition could be on point at this time about these people. You you smelling this foul ass smell? That's the demons that's on them. You know what I'm saying? The spirit saying don't ignore the red flags. They say foes. These are friend frenemies. You know what I'm saying? Family turning on them. Sound of a train once again could be significant. This man say do the dash by me. Okay, because this person in a, um likes your inner fire. Okay, you could have been dealing with a fake emperor or empress. Uh-oh. It says, stop dwelling in the downfall and stand for better. Yeah, these person trying to do mind control through spell work. So pray over everything. You know what I'm saying? Do what only you feel is right once again. Yeah, in the near future, you're going to get pure happiness. My woman, my woman. You're going to get somebody that don't play about you, okay? Period. I'm going to pull this out again. Pure happiness. Look, wedding bells. Baby, y'all better quit playing. The past ain't never stopped cheating. So I hope this helped y'all.